Welcome back everybody to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. Today we have a good one. It's a Rock Hobby Type 82E Kommandowagen. A historical World War II VW Beetle remote controlled 112 scale model. But before we move on, there's a contest with 21 prizes. You heard that right. 21 individual prizes that FMS has been so nice to work out for us. So stick around through the entire video for details and don't forget to check for additional information and links that can be found down below in the video description. But I'll give you a hint, you gotta be subscribed and you gotta like this video. So with that said, on we go. This little Type 82E comes packed in a very nice foam injected molded case that will safely hold your car and all of the accessories. And I must say, I was quite impressed with this when we first opened it. It's intricately detailed and as true to the original Volkswagen as a produced for the masses RC car could possibly be. The engine compartment opens and you can see the engine. Also the hood opens where you can find the battery, the speed controller and a spare tire. The door also opens with the correct ice pick door handles exactly as factory. But more on all that stuff later, because the Type 82E also comes with a lithium polymer battery with a compatible USB charger that can be plugged into any USB power source. Like a cell phone charger, your computer, or a USB port in your car. And once it's done charging, it should stop flashing. So for now we're going to leave that on charge just for a little bit. But we gotta do all that because you know it's time to move on to all the fun stuff because I know what you came to see. You wanna see it go. And we'll do that right after we roll that intro, so thanks for watching. Hey you guys, don't mind my voice too much, it's seasonal allergy time, and if I'm sounding a little bit raspy, well, that's why. Well, we're back. After a short time charging, B took the first crack at running this little beetle around. First impressions, it's a lot faster than we expected B, and it muscled its way through the very stiff grass without being bogged down very much. Now you have to think that this grass is like 112 scale shrubbery. Imagine pushing a full scale 24 horsepower beetle in high gear through that kind of brush. And that's a big surprise here, we are currently running in high gear. Yes, there is a low gear, and it is remote selectable without having to stop the vehicle. Well, B had her fun, so I recharged the battery fully to prepare for a video montage, so check this one out.
This little car is just fantastic, as far as the attention to detail on it is concerned. I haven't seen anything quite like this before. I mean, this is probably about as true as you can get to the original without it being, you know, some thousand dollar car. But I'm mean, even down to the ice pick door handles actually working. They have latches on them. That's right, you can actually open and close the door by flipping the little latch. Once you get inside of there, you'll see that there's also a steering wheel, which steers with the steering on the car. It also has a silicone upholstered seat. All the seats in there are silicone upholstered. Really, really nice feel to them. I mean, just really attention to detail on that kind of stuff. Door, of close, course, closes. And then on the other side, yes, there's also an ice pick door handle that opens over here, same way as the driver's side. Same seats over here, just the same. A split dash, which matches the split window rear. In the back side, yes, we do have a deck lid that opens on up. And inside of there, you can see the highly detailed engine, as well as a generator with a belt on it that will turn when the engine is running. How about that? Pretty cool. This thing is just absolutely incredible. Again, the attention to detail. Under that hood, you'll find your receiver, which is lit up over here, the battery, and a spare tire. And this spare tire, you can see, has five lugs in it. And the reason why it has five lugs is because each one of these wheels are also removable with five lugs, just like the original Volkswagens were. So you can unscrew these with a little Phillips head and replace these, these wheels with the spare that you got in here. Really fine attention to detail on this stuff. These are nice gummy tires, perfect for off-road stuff. I mean, you're not going to be breaking any speed records with this thing, but you wouldn't want to. It's a Volkswagen. Why would you want to go that fast with something like this? It is four-wheel drive, just as the old uh, KDF uh, Kommandowagen was. You'll also notice on here that there is a torsion bar suspension. Check that out. So when you push up and down on the wheels, the spring plate flexes just like it does on a regular Beetle. And this torsion bar on here twists, which allows the suspension to function. The same with the dual torsion leaf axle beam up front. This actually has a working axle beam. I have never seen that on a model before. All these parts are pretty true to the original. Again, there's drive axles that go into the, uh, the drive stubs on the wheels. Um, I guess those are technically would be called spindles, but they're steering knuckles because there's no spindle stub on it. There's also a, a transmission in the back right here. And you can see there's our flat four engine with dual muffler exhaust. Looks like two screws and it removes it, which makes it a little simpler than the original. <laughs> I may just get uh, a bug up my butt and start removing some of these screws all the way around here and seeing if the pan actually is removable because I believe this is. And should Rock Hobby and FMS decide that they want to make body replacements for it, that would be a really clever and probably uh, sellable option. Anyway, I recommend these. I think these are just really, really nice. Um, again, just the details. You know, there's our lights. There's our high beams. Turn on our anti-aircraft light. Turn off our lights so that way we just have that. And then on the back side, it also does have working tail lights. Fantastic. It does have a high gear, low gear, which is switchable on the remote, so you don't have to go down to the car and switch it on and off. Um, they just, they thought about just about everything on this thing. This is a truly, truly an interesting piece. You know, I am impressed by this, really I am. Well, I'm overly impressed because it doesn't just stop there. Yes, you can remove the body, and yes, you can get an additional body if you wish to paint one up yourself or other replacement parts in the event that your duck broke off the bumper. Damn it, Boomer. FMS is also currently promoting the Rock Hobby Kubelwagen, which looks to me that it may be built on the same chassis as the Kommandowagen. Very interesting indeed. So, are you ready to get one? You can purchase one of these Kommandowagens or the Kubelwagen yourself as a holiday gift from the links down below in the video description. And when you use my links, I'll get a small commission on a sale. And that will further support my YouTube channel and get me a few steps closer to some bigger shop space. Oh yeah, there was a contest, right? But what about that? We got 21 prizes that you can win. That's right, 21 prizes. The first prize is 20 of my luckiest fans are going to win a free trip to Dizzy World. While the rides are guaranteed to spin you around until you puke or you'll be stalked and horrified by Ricky Rat until you cry. Wait, what is this? A note? Who's passing me a note? Oh, you want me to read it? Okay. Sorry, Dizzy World was shut down due to biohazard concerns. Please offer 20 of your biggest fans a $20 off coupon for a Commanderwagen. 
All right, well, you can do that instead. Once again, 20 of the lucky winners will receive a $20 off coupon for a Commanderwagen. But that's just the first 20 prizes. What's the grand prize? The grand prize winner gets a free Commander Dragon delivered by Bee McQueen herself! Shh, don't tell people that. What? Bee's not available for this contest. Oh, sorry guys. It'll have to be carried by traditional delivery services. But you heard that right. A free, no strings attached, 100% discounted Commander Dragon just like the one you've seen in this video. So how do we decide who 21 of my biggest fans are? Well, they'll be drawn randomly by the users who do the following. Here's the rules. Rule number one is my rule. You must be subscribed to this channel, you must like this video, and you must leave a comment telling me what you'd like to do with your Commander Wagon. And rule number two is provided by FMS and opens this contest up to Instagram users as well. First, follow both FMS Model 2007 and my Instagram account VVTheDuckVV. Then leave a comment on my post about what you like most about the Type 82E Commander Wagon. And after submitting, don't forget to like and share my post for the contest to your Instagram story. Again, links to all I have said are in the video description. And if you do all the above, it'll increase your chances of winning twofold, so consider entering on both platforms. Winners will be announced by us on September 9th. That means you've got all week, so hop to it. Once again, don't forget the links are down below in the video description. Good luck to everyone! And you know what comes next? Don't forget to plug the dingo belly to get updates every time I upload a video, and check out duckshit.net for all of our different social media links. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on Wednesday for a new video. Look at him. He's a good little boy. Aww. <laughs>